So Zoe, do you want to ring the bell again for us? And we will make a start with the parish mass. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. It's very good to gather together on this Trinity Sunday. Um, I'm sorry we've had to start quite so late. Um, I think over the last 24 hours, each separate part of what could go wrong has go wrong, has gone wrong uh, at a different time, uh, although sometimes together. So uh, thanks so much for your patience, folks. We gather today in a difficult time for our world. We are all very conscious of the racist murder of George Floyd, of Dion Johnson, and too many others even to name. And for so many of us, I hope for all of us our hearts are heavy as we ponder those awful, awful events, not just in the United States of America, but also here in the United Kingdom, where untold numbers of black people have died at the hands of our own police. And so today in our worship, as well as celebrating the glory of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we also lament for the racism we see in our world, and we pray that God will show you and me how to work for a world in which everyone is counted equal. And so we offer this Mass to the praise of God, for the good of the Church here on earth, and praying that our world will be a place where we all know that black lives matter, where nobody's dignity is called into question because of the colour of their skin. We come before God, from whom no secrets are hidden. Let us bow before the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity, asking for forgiveness and peace in a moment of silence. to meet us when we return to you. 
and power, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're now Amen. going to sing the Gloria, and as, you, as we do so, feel free to move about or wave or make a joyful noise. Thank you, Zoe. Let us pray that we may worship God, the Most Holy Trinity, with reverence and awe. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, we are very grateful to Ian, um, who has recorded our reading for us. So this involves a little moving around so that we can um, see and hear Ian's lovely reading. So, hang on a sec, no, sorry. There we go, right. Let's just move this down a touch. There you are, you get a little behind the scenes in the reflection. had this video all ready didn't we Zoe and uh, then I had to restart the, uh, the laptop and it's obviously
Obviously. Ah, here we go. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of God's hand and marked off the heavens with a span, and closed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains and scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him, whom did he consult for his enlightenment? And who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket, and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough, nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by for him as less than nothing and emptiness. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is dis disregarded by my God? Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He does not, grow, he does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even the youth will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Thank you, Zoe, and Thank you, Ian. So we are now going to prepare for our gospel reading. of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Friends, today is, the, uh, is Trinity Sunday when we think of God as Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And wherever you are, even if you're here, I'd like you to say these words with me. One God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let's say together. One God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'd like you to say these words as well. 
one God, three persons. One God, three persons. And because every single person is made in the image of God to reflect God's light and truth in the world, I would like you to say these words with me too. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Sisters and brothers, our world is in such difficulty. We are faced, it seems to me, with three major global problems which threaten life on our earth. The first is the climate crisis. We know that we are not being good stewards of God's good creation that God has entrusted to us and we must act with urgency. We are also faced with a global pandemic of coronavirus. We have been in lockdown for goodness knows 10 weeks, 11 weeks and we have acted urgently by completely changing our way of life, staying at home, washing our hands, covering our faces when we're outdoors, not meeting with family and friends. We have acted urgently and we continue to do so. And thirdly, we are faced with a global pandemic of racism, which is killing God's children. It was the awful murder of Mr. George Floyd in the United States of America, which has somehow woken us all up to the real urgency of this pandemic of racism, which is a sin and it is a blasphemy against God. In our opening collect, we prayed, Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love. Friends, the Holy Trinity is a divine mystery beyond our understanding. But I tell you what we do all understand is that you and I, whatever the colour of your skin, whatever the colour of my skin, are made in the image of God and deserve to be treated with the full dignity of the children of God. And yet we are facing a global pandemic of racism. The death of George Floyd and others in the United Kingdom in police custody in the United States in police custody, and no doubt in other countries which have not yet hit the news, has woken us up to the urgency with which we need to act. And so I fully understand those people who have taken to the streets. I fully understand those people who are raging, who are weeping as we face this global pandemic of racism which has been there for hundreds of years and which we have just let rumble on. And I include myself in that. For that we must ask forgiveness of God, but we must decide to be ready to act now. I want to um, encourage us all to think not just about how can we treat people with dignity ourselves, which I'm sure all of us who are worshipping today already do. I want us to think, sisters and brothers, how can we challenge racism wherever we may find it? How can you and I be anti-racist, be anti-racism? Because that is what is demanded. Friends, I hope that there is also encouragement for us at this time. The energy that we see in peaceful protests around the world 
the energy we see on social media and in conversations with our friends to say we need to act urgently to stop this global pandemic of racism. Tomorrow, Bishop Christopher is coming to join me in St Peter's churchyard. Um, I'm going to put details out about this, but it's quite important to say we are not asking anyone else to join us because of the rules of social distancing to keep us all as safe as possible. But tomorrow at 11am, Bishop Christopher and I will kneel in St Peter's churchyard for 8 minutes and 46 seconds, the length of time that that racist police officer knelt on the neck of Mr George Floyd and murdered him. As we do so, we hope that this will continue to wake us up and spur us to action. And that is needed in the church, it is needed in government, it is needed in all our hearts. So friends, we place our trust in God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, in whose image each of us is made. Because we know that God has the whole world in God's hands. As Bishop Barbara, the first black woman to be a bishop in the Anglican Communion, used to say, the God behind us is bigger than the problem in front of us. The God behind us is bigger than the problem in front of us. And so may that God strengthen each one of us to play our part in a new world of anti-racism where everyone, regardless of the colour of their skin, their gender, their sexuality, their age, regardless of anything that they are, can flourish with the full liberty of the children of God. May it be so. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Father. Bless you. Thank you, Helen. We are now going to say the creed. And um, I would encourage you to make the response, which is, I believe and trust in God. And if you have children worshipping with you, please do encourage them to join in as well. Sisters and brothers, I ask you to profess the faith of the church. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? I believe and trust in God. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? I believe and trust in God. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? I believe and trust in God. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, instead of our usual prayers of intercession this morning, we are going to sing a song, a great African-American spiritual, Were You There When They Crucified My Lord? As we do so, I encourage you to pray for an end to racism in our world and to pray in solidarity with those who mourn the loss of loved ones at the hands of racism to pray for the repose of the souls of those who have died. Professor James Cone, uh, the beginner of the Black Liberation Theology Movement, said that those who were strung up, those black people who were lynched in America, were crucified just like their Lord, because the cross, the tree of the cross, is the lynching tree, is the knee of a police officer. And Jesus Christ is crucified there, just as he was crucified on the cross. And so, we prepare to sing, 
Were you there when they crucified my Lord? And as we do so, we focus today on the cross. with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love that we may truly worship you Father, Son and Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen So we stand for the peace. Peace to you from God our Heavenly Father. Peace from the Son Jesus Christ who is our peace. Peace from the Holy Spirit, the life giver. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Wherever you are, if you would like to make a sign of peace by waving out of the window, or if there is somebody with you, you can share a sign of peace together. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you, Jimmy. Peace be with you. Well done. Okay, you too. Peace. 
Peace be with you. Okay, friends, we're now going to sing our offertory hymn. And before we do that, um, Zoe has a special poster to show us because um, during lockdown, we are not able to receive um, our donations by the Sunday collection. And so our finances are very shaky at the moment. But you can give online at Virgin Money Giving, um, where we are able to accept one-off donations or monthly donations very easily. So I'm going to ask Zoe if she could hold up this poster. What's the question, Zoe? Thank you. Right. So let's see how we are doing. OK, back a touch, though. There we go. Brilliant. So um, if you go to bit.ly slash spwgive, um, you can make your offering that way. And um, it's surprisingly easy to do, even on your mobile phone. So thank you very much to everyone who has already given in that way. And we really encourage you, please, to continue to do so. And if you've been thinking, oh, I must get round to it, maybe now's the time. Thank you, Zoe. OK, now, our offertory hymn is Beauty for Brokenness. And I'm really grateful to Kevin, our organist, and his partner, Kevin, who helped me, as well as Dr Elizabeth Henry, uh, the Reverend Dr Sharon Prentice, and the Reverend Brunel James, to write together um, a new verse um, for Beauty for Brokenness to recognise this global pandemic of racism and pray for it to come to an end. So you'll notice slightly different words, but the same tune. Thank you, Zoe. Beauty for brokenness, hope for despair. Lord, in your suffering world, this is our prayer. Bread for the children, justice, joy, peace. Sunrise to sunset, your will will increase. God of the poor, friend of the weak, give us Compassion, we pray. 
So friends, we now come to the Eucharistic prayer. We continue on page eight of the Mass booklet. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We give thanks to one and it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, from sunrise to sunset this day is holy, for Christ has risen from the tomb and scattered the darkness of death with light that will not fade. This day the risen Lord walks with your gathered people, unfolds for us your word, and makes himself known in the breaking of the bread. And though the night will overtake this day, you summon us to live in a endless light, the never-ceasing Sabbath of the Lord. And so with choirs of angels and archangels, and of all the heavenly host, we proclaim your glory and join their unending hymn of praise. you loving father through jesus christ our lord and as we obey his command send your holy spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear son on the night before he died he had supper with his friends and taking bread he praised you he broke the bread gave it to them and said take eat this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you. 
gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather in your loving arms, gather us in your loving arms. Bless Christopher our Bishop, Carraway his assistant, Jane our Archdeacon, and all the people in the service of God. Receive into your tender loving care the souls of all those who have died. We pray particularly for those who have died due to the pandemic of racism, the pandemic of coronavirus, the pandemic of climate change. And we pray, O oh God, that you will give us strength to grow in your grace and make your kingdom known on earth. Bring us with Mary, the mother of God, St. Joseph, St. Peter, and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Friends, we are a priestly people, a holy nation, God's own people. We're going to join in saying the words which Jesus himself taught us. And as we do so, we do that in communion with our sisters and brothers around the world. And we do so taking strength for the fight to make the world a better place. In the power of the Spirit, let us pray to the Father as the Son has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread.
a sin of all the world. Miserereinobis, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of all the world. Miserereinobis, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of all the world. Donna nobis pace. invited in the name of the church to make an act of spiritual communion and uh, Zoe is very kindly going to hold up the poster which has the words for the, uh, the spiritual communion and so I encourage you to say those words um, out loud if you would like to or quietly in your heart say them slowly and be ready to receive Jesus spiritually as you do so. Oh, I know why. Hang on. There we go. Okay, come a little bit closer now. Perfect. Actually, up a touch. Well done. Thank you, Zoe. sing our communion hymn for Trinity Sunday as we praise the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father we love you, we worship and adore you.
we're now going to say the prayer after communion all together. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son and Holy Spirit and live and reign in the perfect unity of love. Hold us firm in this faith that we may know you in all your ways and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons, yet one God, now and forever. Amen. Oh, I firstly just want to say a huge thank you to Zoe this morning, who has helped in so many ways, um, helping me print the mass booklet and stapling it and when everything seemed to be going wrong. Um, Zoe, you did a great job and uh, it's always complicated. Zoe has to check that the live stream is still going, sort out the music and now are you happy to see if anybody's got any birthdays? Okay, so if it is your birthday or someone that you know, um, please type their name or your name into the comments on the Facebook post and um, Zoe is kindly going to write those down um, as we uh, do so. That was very nice. There was a little, uh, someone pressed a little heart emoji at the bottom for Zoe there. So um, if you want to press a little heart for Zoe, that's really nice because you can actually see them coming up uh, on the screen uh, as you do so. So um, hearts for Zoe all round. So notices, friends. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has managed to uh, make their offering, their tithe, their donation online. Um, we are doing much better and we now have a, a good uh, increase in the number of people who are doing that, uh, especially going to our Virgin Money Giving site and making your monthly offering so that we can plan our finances in this difficult time. Um, and some people have said that they would rather give straight into the bank account, uh, which is also absolutely fine. Um, and uh, thank you to those people who have done that. Um, the, the numbers doing that are still very low compared to the numbers of all of us as a total. So we really want to encourage ourselves to uh, be giving online, uh, whether you do it one off each Sunday or whether you do it as a monthly offering so that you don't need to uh, remember to keep doing it. But thank you to everyone who has, because uh, I know it takes time and effort and thought, um, and uh, we really are very grateful to that. And um, what we're going to do now is to ask God's blessing on our offertory, because normally in church we would bless the collection plate, um, but now we are going to bless all our tithes and offerings um, wherever they are going into St Peter's mission and ministry. So let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for all the offerings that we have made for your mission and ministry in this parish of St Peter's Walworth in this difficult time. We thank you for the generosity of individuals in giving their money and in giving time in giving in new ways. And we pray, O oh God, that your blessing will rest upon those gifts, that they might be like seeds planted to grow into great mustard trees, proclaiming your glory in this place. And we ask your blessing on everyone who has given, that you will give back to them what they have given, a good measure pressed down and shaken and overflowing. So God, we thank you for our offerings and we ask your blessing on everyone who has given them. For the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Um, I also want to say thank you, maybe Zoe wants to say thank you, to everyone who has sponsored Zoe and her sisters Joy and Anastasia. Um, do you want to say a quick word about that? You don't have to. No? Okay, I'll say it. So they have raised around £1,300, £1,300 in sponsorship and even more when you count the gift aid. It's absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, as you know, that is going to be match funded 
by a generous anonymous donor who has pledged up to £2,000 of match funding for our lockdown appeal. So you can still sponsor them and we'll put the link on uh, Facebook uh, later. But also we really want to encourage you to think, what could you do um, to raise some money for uh, our lockdown appeal? And um, it could be absolutely anything. You could do a sponsored silence, you could do a sponsored walk, you could do a sponsored sing, you could do anything you like. Um, and if you go to our Virgin Money Giving page and just search for St Peter's Walworth, you'll see it's very easy to start a fundraising page uh, for a sponsored event. So thank you to everyone who has sponsored them. And thank you also to people who've been able to give uh, an extra gift during this time of lockdown, which will also be match funded. Bless you and uh, thank you very much for helping in that way. Um, the service pattern is as normal this week. Morning prayer, Monday to Thursday at 10 past nine or just after. And then on Monday evening, rosary at 6.30 or just after. And said mass at seven o'clock. Tomorrow morning on our Facebook, we will live stream Bishop Christopher and my act of solidarity um, in taking a knee in St. Peter's churchyard. We are not inviting people to join physically because of the government guidelines on uh, social distancing. But wherever you are, you might also like to take a knee or to be quiet for a moment. You might like to join in the live stream. And uh, you might even like to take a photo of yourself holding a poster saying Black Lives Matter or whatever you would like to say. And we can also share those. So that's 11 o'clock tomorrow, Monday, the 8th of June. I don't think there's anything else to say uh, except other thanks. Thank you again to Kevin, uh, who has just been absolutely amazing with um, uh, providing uh, music for our worship. Um, and uh, also to Ian for reading this morning, to Father Alan for uh, uh, sending me the, uh, the, the draft mass booklet, which he does each week, and for everybody else who has helped. Uh, I hope I haven't missed anybody. So, birthdays. Okay, so, oh, we've got some lovely um, birthdays. We've got uh, Zoe's friend Maria, that's lovely. And we've got Ruth. Now, Ruth... Um, our friend who you'll know sits at the back of church uh, with Doreen um, and Jean and Jenny and Novelette and others. Um, Ruth was in hospital and very poorly with COVID-19 um, and she came out of hospital last week, thanks be to God. And it was her birthday on Wednesday and uh, I managed to speak to her, I think, on Thursday or Friday. Um, and uh, Ruth is doing really, really well. She's at home and uh, she's much better. She still uh, needs our prayers as she continues her recovery, but that's great news. So it's lovely uh, to sing happy birthday to Ruth and also to Grace, to Idris, what does this say, Zoe? And Kutu. Okay, excellent. So happy birthday to Maria, Ruth, Grace, Idris and Kutu. Let's pray for them before we sing happy birthday with Kevin's amazing new track. Let us pray. O oh, loving God, bless these our sisters and brothers as they celebrate the gift of life at this time. In these strange days, help them to celebrate the gift of life. Help them to celebrate with friends and with family in any way they can and help them to remember your great love for them. Send your holy angels to watch over them and give them the blessing of your peace. And we ask this for the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, let's get ready to sing Amen. happy birthday. <coughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear friends, happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh. 
that always gives us a smile and a laugh. And um, we had the speaker so turned up that uh, it gave us an extra smile this morning. So, friends, um, happy Trinity Sunday. And uh, may we be a people whose minds and hearts are enlarged by the most holy Trinity as we celebrate. We now pray for God's blessing upon us. Um, and then we're going to have our final hymn. And during our final hymn, if you want to move about, um, uh, process or do anything like that, please do so. And in our final hymn, there is also a new verse uh, praying that we will be, uh, that we will live in a more equal world in the light of the awful pandemic of racism that we have seen. So the words for Lord for the Year is slightly different, but the tune is the same. Let us pray for God's blessing on us all. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God the Father, who first loved us and made us accepted in the beloved Son, bless you. Amen. God the Son, who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, bless you. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, who sheds abroad the love of God in our hearts, bless you. Amen. And the blessing of the one true God, to whom be all love and all glory for all time and eternity, come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn, Lord for the Years. <clears throat> joining in. Um, we are going to go to the St Peter's uh, Sunday Zoom now which is bit.ly slash spw zoom and um, actually Zoe would you mind typing that into the comments please? So it's www.bit.ly 
ly slash spw zoom and um, it would be lovely to see as many of you there as possible to have a talk and a catch up and um, yeah I think that's everything so we might finish with a little music in a moment but happy Trinity Sunday happy Sunday and God bless us all Okay, so friends, with that lovely music from uh, Kevin and Kevin both this morning, uh, we finish um, our live stream on Facebook, um, but we move over to Zoom if you would like to join us um, for uh, a chat after Mass. God bless everyone. Happy Sunday. Have, have a blessed week, everybody. Have bye. a blessed week. Bye. bye. God bless. Bye-bye.